getting some tubers warmed up. Natural heat in the basement here under lights. We have them in seedling mix. We've got lots of sprouts that are coming up. It usually takes uh, oh three weeks or so to get sprouts. Uh, some of these have been in here since uh, early mid February. I've got a little spider running around here. And um, then I have the uh, Oasis wedges that I use to uh, propagate in. They come in different sizes. They come in a larger one than I that I'm using here. This is a smaller one. Uh, they're pre-wetted. I like to have them quite moist. They're in a tray with uh, water underneath a solid tray so that they'll wick up water. And that helps you to not have to water every day. Um, I usually uh, make uh, tags out for a row at a time. There's 17 in a row, so I make the tags out. Some people put a date on the tags. I don't, um, but you'll kind of know when they're uh, rooted. Generally, it'll take about two, three weeks for them to root. Um, then I, once I have the tags, I've got my knife. They've been uh, sanitized between each clump with uh, Vercon is what I'm using, but bleach or whatever. So trying to practice uh, a reasonable amount of sanitation. I don't change knives between cuttings. I change knives between varieties. And uh, I've got a collection of knives here that I can just quickly go through this. So I've got about uh, 13 tags made out uh, before we started the video. And I was going to get down in here and uh, then this, I have this AC Leslie variety. It's got some nice cuttings on it. I made two tags. I'm going to take this cutting off really close to the tuber, but leaving growth onto the tuber and untangle this cutting from there. I will, uh, if for me, I like to take off these two bottom roots. So you, uh, I just get rid of that in the garbage can. You now have a sprout with uh, where it's gonna root from at the bottom. I hold it down there. I guide that into the foam down pretty deep. That's a cutting. And I've got, looks like three or four more under this sprout because I've taken some earlier cuttings off of this one. This one I cut a little bit short. I didn't really get that growth node, but no problem. I've got this bottom set of leaves that's fairly close. I take them off. So I have a growing node still there. I'm going to guide that one into its tagged spot. I've got another one I could have done, but since I made out the tags, I'll do that on the next round. I've got this one here that's sprouting nicely. One I'm excited about this year, Colleen Mooney. So again, I got a nice cutting. I still left some growth on the tuber and poke that in. Here's another one that's ready to go on the same plant. See if I can see this one's coming from underneath the tuber, but I don't really care because I can still get a growing node for rooting here at a reasonable depth if this amount of growth below the node was longer i'd probably just shorten it but as long as i'm getting this leaf node into the foam where it will root that's adequate and so get that one in there uh nice and deep so in my system uh, my experience is that you're going to have roots coming through in about two and a half to three weeks I don't really worry about them. I just kind of let them uh, keep moist. I'll check the water periodically. Here's a shorter sprout, but I've made a third tag. This one is big enough to make a plant still. And I've just kind of get that guided into the uh, foam in such a way that that node is below the dirt and in the soil. Here's a single one. This is getting pretty big. So I don't have to cut off that uh, leaf pair. You can just kind of gently tear them off. The key is guiding in that leaf node pair, a new knife. 
different variety. So I've got uh, tags made for this one. And uh, it helps maybe to have a little brighter light than even what I have here. Um, but you need to be able to see down where these things are sprouting from. Sometimes these tubers surprise you and they sprout on the bottom. So then you have to kind of weave your way underneath the, uh, the soil to try to figure out where am I going to cut this thing. So uh, because some of these I have buried a little bit into the soil you can see here this one that's going to be cut here soon so i'll pick it up a little bit for the future and i'm noticing i'll cut this one here but there's another sprout right beside it coming up here and that'll be my my future sprout to come up but you have to sometimes lift the the root out when you're taking the first cutting so you can get to see what you're actually going to be cutting If you're growing just a few cuttings to uh, make for yourself and you're not really interested in making as many cuttings as you can, uh, starting roots in mid-March is probably fine because you'll get cuttings by the end of March, early April. You'll have plenty of time to get them rooted for planting in mid-May. And so for your own needs, that's probably adequate. I tend to start in mid-February because I'm trying to make uh, roots uh, to make plants to share. And I'm also uh, hoping to have a extras that I can grow over to make pot roots so that I can have a secondary uh, genetic reserve of uh, keeping varieties going. If I have a casualty in the garden, I can have some plants to... Uh, either replace if it's early enough in July I'll still replant some holes that are empty or I'll grow them for the entire season in pots and that will become pot roots that uh, uh, can be woke up in the spring uh, can be shared with others and pot roots are pretty desirable as uh, a sharing of uh, genetics because they for those that take cuttings, they make so many more sprouts off of a pot root than a tuber will. That uh, if you can get a pot root, you probably, if you're doing cuttings, that's what you would prefer. Here's the attachment point to the root, right below those leaves, but right above the tuber. You can see the remainder of the that. That will grow new sprouts there within a week you'll start to see the bumps coming up and you're going to see a lot more sprouts come if you do it not too deep if you get too deep you will not get more sprouts you will eliminate your chance because you've taken all of that growth points away this tray was uh, put in dry basically sterile soil the seedling mix that i like to use I put these pot roots, these all came from England this year, uh, in here at the same time I did the tubers that are in that tray. I uh, then cover them with uh, uh, enough soil so that they're mostly covered, the top may show through. I water them in without nutrients and uh, leave them in the warm space. If you don't have a naturally warm space like I do, then you might have to Find a spot, 65, 70 degrees ambient temperature usually works good. Maybe some bottom heat, not necessary. It depends on your overall conditions and moisture, but not too much. I water them in. Don't keep them wet. Water them in, get them woke up. Let them uh, start shooting up sprouts. And then I just water as needed after that. But you can see the nice growth here coming up in Virtually every one of these uh, pot roots is, is throwing sprouts. That tray was started in mid-February. I've already taken probably 50 cuttings out of this tray this season. And you can see how many more are coming. Because once you take the first cutting off of a root or a um, pot tuber, the plant will send a signal to the remaining tuber there that uh, it wants to make more sprouts. That's a na natural tendency of plants when you prune it. So the amount of sprouts you're gonna get after the first one is gonna multiply 
generally pretty fast. So where you took one, you're going to get three or four new sprouts off of that one if you do it right. Don't cut into the tuber. Cut right above the growth coming out of the tuber so that you, those growing points will, will show you some new sprouts right away. In fact, I think I have one over here that you can see that extremely well where I took a cutting and you can see here on this Salish Twilight Girl, one, two, three, four, five, six sprouts coming out where I took the first cutting. And I took the first cutting off of this maybe four or five days ago. Thank you very much for your knowledge and happy dahlia growing.